Hey guys, how are we doing? Set here, and today I'm bringing to you another video showing you some things that used to be in the game for certain characters, some secrets that you just don't know about because they aren't there anymore. So I thought some of you would find it quite interesting, just like the other video I did a while back for the Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki quirks that were removed. This will just be, you know, a trip down memory lane for some of you. And for others, you may have never seen these before. And it could be interesting for you to see what it was like before. So, uh, sorry, credit to uh, this guy Bubba here because I'm going to use his footage for the Todoroki part. So first up, we have Todoroki. And in the beta, he had a different special action. So let's show you right here. So with his triangle, how it used to be, if you was to hold it, you could use it like a flamethrower and it would do damage, you know, um, per second for every bit of fire that was engulfing the unfortunate opponent. And you saw him use it there to essentially cook Shigaraki. Shigaraki? Shigaraki. Way past medium rare. So that was what Shoto Todoroki used to have for his special action, a flamethrower that you could hold and the bar would go down on the special action as you would use it. Now it wasn't without its problems, which is why I think they removed it, because if you look here, you'll see that should be burning her and as far as I can see she doesn't have a fire blanket over her, <laughs> you know, so the move was a little bit temperamental. It wasn't really all that damaging and honestly if you had someone in your sights and you had your alpha there'd be no reason for you to use that over your alpha so it was you know quite neat in concept but in application it wasn't ultra reliable and honestly you had better options as um with your other quirks but yeah what do you guys think would you like to see that move back in the game would you have preferred that do you think it looks bad? Look, there he was, he was using it again. See, it, it kind of was just something that you would use if you wanted to, like, show off. You know, that special action really wasn't something that would turn the tide for you at any point. But yeah, there you have it. That's the first thing that used to be in the game for Shoto Todoroki that has now been removed. So the next one we're going to move on to is Froppy. So I think you guys, I think you Froppy players are going to be quite annoyed about this one. Okay, so second up, Froppy. This isn't a different move that she used to have, but it was something that she used to be able to do. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't see why they took it from her because it makes sense for her to be able to do this. Like, it doesn't look weird. It it just, it looks so Froppy-esque. I don't know why they wouldn't give it to her, especially when someone else in the game has this. So shout out to Yogo Gaming here because this is their clip. So I'm about to use their footage to show you this. So if we get right in there. Oh, that's interesting. Froppy able to run up the wall like the frog that she is. I don't see why she shouldn't be able to do that in the game today. If I'm being completely real with you. I don't see why Ida is allowed to run up the wall, but she isn't. She could very well do that in the show. That is very, very, very believable for her. I don't see why she doesn't have access to that. And some people might say, oh, she doesn't need it anyway, because she can tongue whip her way up to places. Yeah, that's a good point. But at the same time, if she can get up places easier than that, then why not just give it to her anyway? It's not going to change much about her if, you know, if she can just use the tongue to go up. So why would you not just give it to her anyway? So if I was a froppy main and I didn't know that this used to be a thing, oh boy, I'd be kind of mad. Because, number one, it looks kind of cool. I just think it looks cool. You know, for, for like Froppy, it looks cool. And number two, you know, it's it's practical. It makes sense. Why wouldn't you want to be able to run up the wall? Why, uh, why not? So yeah, Froppy used to be able to run up walls. Um, I think it was very, 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 
what's the word I'm looking for here? Acceptable. And I never really heard anyone complaining about the fact that she could do that. In fact, I never heard anyone complain about the fact that she could do that. So the fact that they took her, uh, took it away from her, I don't really know why they did that, but who knows? Anyway, that was Froppy. So Shoto used to have a flamethrower, albeit not a very good one. Froppy used to be able to run up walls or crawl up walls or however you want to call it, but frog her way up walls. And now we're going to go to the last one, which is Ida. So if you thought Ida was busted already in the game, imagine if he was able to still do this. Okay, so this is my clip, so no shout out needed. In fact, screw Setano. But did you just see what Ida did and then did again? I think you did. And I think you know that if he could still do that to this day, I've got to shut up my other self, my past self, it would be a huge problem. So if you look again. Come on, Ida, I'll put you on the spot now. You have to do it. There you go. Double jump. With all of the shenanigans that Ida gets away with today on console. Can you imagine if you added double jump on top of it? You could move around with this double jump in such a way you didn't even really need to use your alphas a lot of the time to maneuver in the air. You could save that extra alpha and, you know, instead just plant it onto somebody's jawline when you felt like it. Because the double jump would get you to those extra little places that you'd want to get to a lot of the time in between transitions between fighting and whatnot. So, yeah, Ida used to have a double jump. And, uh, yeah, it allowed extra maneuverability it allowed you to have a bit more flexibility before you would use your alpha before you would use your beta before you would use whatever it was you was looking to get done so the air double jump used to be something Ida could do and honestly i would be worried to know what the highest level Ida's could do with that in today's uh gaming states with him because they're already very troublesome and adding that to their game would be well i think you may as well have uh you know just given them <laughs> just given them every match that, that they ever stepped in as soon as they showed up so yeah there you have it three different things that you may have seen a very long time ago in the beta if you played or you may not have known about at all if you didn't play that beta so shoto used to have a special action different to what he has now Froppy used to be able to run up walls, and Ida could defy gravity even more than he already does with a double jump. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that look at how the game used to be. This is probably going to be the last video I make um, like that because the first video was obviously the quirk variations, and this one is you know what it is, what you've already seen. There was nothing else really worthwhile making a video on that has been taken away from the game from the betas. You know no different moves, no difference of mechanics in the same way. The only thing that would be different is maybe damage numbers and, you know, reload count and stuff like that. You'd, you guys would shoot me if I, if I did a video about that, you know, that'd be just a waste of time. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. For those of you who have already seen it, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the nostalgia. Or maybe this brought you uh, PTSD. You remembered all the times Eda's double jumped on top of your eyebrows. And yeah, if you haven't seen it before, you can now just be very upset that if you are a froppy main, you cannot run up walls. You did, you had, you have something to be annoyed about that you didn't know you had to be annoyed about until now. <laughs> You're welcome. It's it's my pleasure, really. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. In fact, tell me in the comments which one um, do you think. Well, which one would you like to see back? if any and that will be it for now so see you on the next one